at all things sports and entertainment. So this has really been the biggest thing, the whole Jay-Z, Lil Wayne not being able to perform at the Super Bowl, other than Uncle Shannon, you know, Shannon Sharp clapping cheeks. But Lil Wayne, most most people thought Lil Wayne's going to do the Super Bowl because it's February 9th, 2025 in New Orleans. Lil Wayne's from New Orleans, you know, so on and so forth. So he thought he was going to be able to do it. He was hoping so. But of course, Kendrick Lamar ended up getting it, who is Drake's right now, uh, arch nemesis. So a lot of people are mad. Nikki went off. Um, Drake said something. Birdman went off on Jay-Z. Nikki went off on Jay-Z as well. You know, a lot of people are hurt about it. So Lil Wayne actually had something to say about it. Let me play this video for y'all. I want to say forgive me for, uh, forgive me for the delay. Forgive me for say uh, I had to first of all I had to get strength I had to get strength enough to do this without breaking um I must say thank you I must say thank you to every voice every opinion all the care all the love and the support out there is your your words turn into to arms and and held me up when when I try to fall back um That hurt, hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about, it hurt a whole lot. Um, I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown. And for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that, but I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that, that, that spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And um, so it hurt. It hurt a whole lot. Um, but y'all, y'all are fucking amazing. It made me feel like shit not getting this, this opportunity. And when I felt like shit, you guys reminded me that I ain't shit without y'all. And, and that's an amazing reality. So, like I said, it broke me. And I'm just trying to put me back together. But my God, have you all helped me. Thanks to all my peers, my friends, my family, my homies on sports television, everybody repping me. I really appreciate that. I really do. I feel like I let all of y'all down by not getting that opportunity. But, you know, so as y'all can see, Wayne, you know, he hurt. You know, I'm sure he did want to do Super Bowl. Super Bowl is the greatest stage you can be on as an artist in your home city doing hit after hit after hit. You know, so. You know, salute to him. I understand how he feel. But I asked a couple of people from New Orleans. And um, honestly, while people would love to see him do it, a couple people told me this. You know, the the what real songs can Wayne go up there and perform at the Super Bowl without it being heavily edited or change? You got to change the record. And I'm saying not from a Jay-Z standpoint. I'm saying from the 30 plus billionaire owners of the NFL. See, the Super Bowl is a family show. They got all these people out there, all these different corporate medias and all of that. For the world, there's over a billion people who watch the Super Bowl. So they want to have more friendly things. Even though Kendrick Lamar talks conscious music, people from all genres can relate in one way or another to his music. You know, Wayne go up there. You know Wayne talking about. He, They're not going to watch. They won't let Wayne light up a blunt. <laughs> performing at the Super Bowl. It's too many sponsors. It's too much, too many billions. You know, maybe Jay did block him. I, I doubt it. But y'all got to remember, man, Jay don't own any of the NFL teams. That's not, it's not his league. He's just helping the owners find artists and whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, they had the final say. I'm sure they came with a list of artists and Wayne wasn't on any of them. Now, I'm sure the NFL don't care about having Wayne come out and perform. You know, if Kendrick was to go have Wayne out there, get on a couple of tracks and all of that uh, on their features, sure. Right. Or or if you got Wayne coming out there to spit a couple of lines, I get that. But as far as the NFL giving him 30 straight minutes, I don't know. You know, I don't know if the NFL want to see Birdman and BG and Turk and everybody out there. I don't I don't think the NFL is ready for that. Now, do people watch the NFL and put money in their pockets? Yeah. 
But you got to remember, they got Coca-Cola and FedEx and UPS and uh, Bush and all these other different people, YouTube TV, uh, their partners or whatever. So they're going to make things more partner friendly. I mean, think about it. They have Rihanna. They have Snoop. Snoop is crossover. And also another thing, Kendrick right now is the more relevant artist. You know, while Wayne is a legend and while Wayne is a goat, this it'd be different. If this was Wayne from like 08, 06, you know, 06, 07, 08, 09 when he was heating up with the mixtapes. You know, at this moment, Kendrick is the bigger star and Kendrick is more of a marketable star that the NFL can market to the billion people that's going to be watching it. Just this is like what Usher. Usher was marketable. Uh, Rihanna was marketable. Beyonce's marketable. So I don't know. I'm not talking about talent. I'm not talking about legend status. I'm talking about from strictly business. I don't think that it was the NFL's decision. And while Jay-Z's the face, of course, he's going to get all the blame, you know, but that's just one of the things that come with it. But I don't personally feel like Jay-Z would be doing that to, to stick it to Lil Wayne. Jay-Z one of the richest people in the world. I don't see why. And then people have to remember, Jay-Z helped Wayne out with his taxes per, per Lil Wayne. And people forget that. You know what I mean? So how are you going to hate on somebody when you gave them... Tens of millions of dollars to help him out with a tax situation. We don't know where Wayne would be at right now if it wasn't for Jay-Z helping him out. You know what I mean? And Jay never talked about it. Wayne did. So people got to remember that, man. Before y'all uh, cancel, try to cancel Jay-Z because little Wayne can't go up there. Remember that Jay-Z is not the owner of the NFL. If it was Jay-Z's uh, show, you know, if he did a, if he did his own festival in New Orleans and he didn't bring Lil Wayne, cool. But Jay-Z got people to answer to in the NFL when it comes to approvals. So I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. Do y'all agree, disagree? Am I tripping? Let me know what y'all think.